Hi, this is Tad. I want to talk to you about a Fuse Demara Beeswax and Stand Oil Medium. These are pretty familiar ingredients, but we're going to use them today in a solvent-free way. This medium increases your paint film brightness over time, your saturation, the stability of the value scale, the density of the paint, the impasto potential of the paint, you get more elastic paint, which means more charismatic handling potential. And there's a lot of mud resistance because of the, the discretion that you get, the, the thickness of the actual brush stroke. Let's look at the ingredients involved. I'm going to use a hand refined linseed oil mixed with um, a relatively thick stand oil. These all mix one to one. Then the beeswax and the Demar resin itself. That's the foundation. You can crush the damar in a mortar and pestle, or you can crush it in a piece of canvas uh, with a hammer. You need a small old pot of some kind, a measuring glass, and some measuring spoons. Here's the thick oil, there's the beeswax, and there's the damar. You put the damar in the pot, and you use low heat, you stir it around. You may end up with a little bit of foaming if you use an auto-oxidized oil, but just keep stirring until there's absolutely no little granules of Damar left. Then turn the heat off, and you can add the beeswax, and the beeswax will dissolve really quickly. And the medium looks like this. It'll, when it cools, it'll get less transparent. And you can use the medium this way. Uh, this would be appropriate maybe on stretch canvas or if you're working really big. Uh, I tend to work on panels and on the smaller side, and so I'm going to make this medium thicker. And the first thing I do is add some chalk or marble dust. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of large balsam. This is pretty optional, but I, I, I like what this does. A uh, very small amount. Stir it well. You're not going to be able to get all the lumps out. That doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, if you're going to tube it, tube it while it's still warm. Uh, it's a lot easier to tube that way. It doesn't have to be tubed. You could put it in wax paper or parchment paper as well. Here's what it looks like once it's cooled. You can see it's got a really fine texture and pretty discreet handling. But it's also really elastic, and this is really fun. Um, but again, you may not be as interested in that as I am. So you, you can adjust this in a lot of ways for how you want it to perform. And in fact, you can make it even more elastic by adding a few drops of egg white. That's what this ends up looking like. Uh, very fine handling, uh, and but but very um, dense as well. Here's an example on a light ground so you can see the medium itself more clearly. Again, um, really unusually fine handling for something that's that dense. This is our basic proportion. If you multiply it by two, you get 100. So that gives us 15% beeswax and 15% Damar in the medium. Now we're going to Put the medium into the paint at one part medium to two parts paint. So that gives us 5% beeswax and 5% Damar. This is called conditioning. Before painting, you add the same proportion of the medium to each color. And conditioning gives you a uniform surface tension and a uniform surface gloss. So those are two advantages over dipping. And the other advantage, of course, is that you can use a thicker medium so you have no studio full of solvent fumes. In this example, we're going to use the 1 to 2 proportion. So here's cadmium red and the medium. And you can see that when you mix them together, you get a more elastic version of the paint itself. And different paints are going to perform differently. Here's an earth color and an earth color made without um, stearate or other additives. So you get much more seizure from um, a paint that's made that way. Here's the paint and the, the medium put on the palette before mixing the two of them together. And here's an example painting made um, with the medium. This is an Alla Prima painting. 
about 15 inches across. Here's a detail. You can see the there's impasto potential, but it's on the mobile side. It's not being not being built so much as it's as it's showing you where the brush went. You can also use this medium indirectly. You would start with uh, less medium and more paint, and then work your way into more medium and less paint. Here's an example of a painting that's in progress that uses that system. Here's an example of a medium test panel. These are all variations on this type of medium. It's going to darken a little bit, but it doesn't darken a lot. So let's review the formula that we made. We've got 35 milliliters of thick oil, 7.5 cc's of both beeswax and crushed damar. 45 cc's of natural chalk or marble dust. You might want to use less than that. You certainly wouldn't want to use too much more. And then just a little bit of large balsam. The thicker oil increases saturation. The beeswax increases flexibility. The Damar increases the brightness of the paint film. And all of these are going to increase uh, the resistance of the paint film to humidity and oxidation, which means that you'll have a brighter paint film over time. The chalk aids the paint film stability, the large adds brightness and elastic handling, and the optional egg weight increases both density and the elasticity of the handling. Now I made a pretty dense version of this, but the density is flexible depending on your style and the scale at which you're working. And also if you're working on stretch canvas, you really can't use something that's quite that dense, so you want it to be a little looser. On the other hand, it's easier to loosen a dense paint a little bit than to tighten a loose paint a lot. Uh, so you can start with the denser paint on the palette and thin it with a little extra oil, then use the denser paint over that. That's, that works pretty nicely as, a, as an overall system. So that's an introduction to Fused Damar, Beeswax, and Stand Oil. It's flexible, versatile, and solvent-free. You just want to, as you experiment, just keep the proportion of Damar and Beeswax in the final paint film at about 5% or less. So have fun, make it work for you, and if you need more information, please visit me at my website, and you can email me from there. Bye for now.